let's talk to Ross now in Los Angeles. And Ross, you know, Ria was talking about the fact that so many Hollywood stars aren't going to the festival in Venice. So what's the latest on the strike? What, what are you hearing? What do you think? Well, we're definitely hearing that it could be towards the end of the year, if not into next year. I reckon if we get past Thanksgiving here, which is in November, and we still haven't had a deal, then it will go into next year because things get quiet here around about that time anywhere. And the reason that some stars can do some things is there are certain agreements with certain movies, uh, you know, if they're independents, etc. So the stars can do something, but uh, it could just have a huge knock-on effect into the award ceremonies because, you know, January, you're into Golden Globes, you're into BAFTAs, you're into Oscars. It could be an absolute mess. Yeah, and they've had a lot... I mean, the strikes have had a lot of high-profile support, haven't they? Yeah, they have. And just to put it into context as well, because people think, oh, it's all these movie stars going in strike. 95% of the members of SAG earn under £22,000 a year. So just to put it into context, so a lot of people not earning a lot of money. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, though, we hear, has been helping out, which is really good. He's been looking after about 20 or so of the members of SAG who've been affected by it. And uh, also, you know, giving to the strike fund too. So that's good. No, exactly. Um, can we talk about Prince Harry? Because he was at the footy last night, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was indeed. LAFC were playing into Miami. That's David Beckham's team. That's the team that Messi plays for now. That's why everyone was there. Want to see Messi? He's been in unbelievable form. So I've been to Miami, but they've got a bit of catching up to do now. Harry was out again there. Jason Sudeikis, Owen Wilson. I also hear that Leo was there with the Beckhams too. So yeah, a big old night. And then before that, he was at Beyonce's Renaissance concert Friday night. He was there with Megan and the mum-in-law as well, Doria too. And this all coming in the heels of you know, these reports coming out and I have heard the audio that King Charles disappointed that Princess Diana was pregnant with a boy when she was with Harry in, you know, in the process of having Harry at that yeah. time. Uh, and he said that she wanted a daughter. And Diana saying that uh, at the christening, uh, Charles said to her stepmom, you know, that disappointed would have liked a daughter. You'll hear all of it coming out. Uh, the author, Andrew Morton, in his 1992 book, Diana, The True Story, um, it's all there. We've got the audio tapes, so you'll be hearing a lot about that over oh. the next few days and Oh, that's weeks. horrible, though, for Harry. You don't want to be hearing that, that, you know, she wanted yeah. Henrietta. No, no, not at all. No, 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 no. Look, tell yeah. me about... Tell <laughs> exactly. me about <laughs> exactly. Tell me about Adele. Adele is all set to make history, isn't she? Oh, absolutely. So, second set of run out here at, uh, at Las Vegas. Just absolutely brilliant. Great buzz about it. Great concerts. And now, no surprise at all, they're going to want a third chunk of concerts. But how about, should we up her money? Because she's only on 900,000 a night. <laughs> so let's bump it up to a million. So the big winner in Vegas is Adele. Rock on for a million a night. Not bad, is it? Not bad at all, but she's fabulous. Good luck to her. <laughs> now, um, she's going to be celebrating Beyonce's birthday though isn't she um, is Beyonce's birthday when is it is it today it's today <gasps> she's 42 today happy she's... birthday Beyonce she never misses a show oh, wow. as we know uh, Adele though is not going to miss a show either now of course the other week we were talking about the fact that Beyonce went out and said to all her fans look it's my birthday I want you all to wear like shiny silver outfits and uh, Adele has talked about the fact that she's going to go and she's going to get a costume and she was going mad she was on Amazon panic buying but she's managed to get something she said she's going to look like a really a really cheap disco ball how about that it's going to be an interesting look from Adele at Beyonce Who I cares? think I think Adele anybody in the world would want to dress her she looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful now look tell me about Idris Elba because this incredible and beautiful ceremony in Africa Oh, this is just so beautiful. Idris and his wife, Sabrina, very special picture in Rwanda. Uh, they're there naming a gorilla, which is a very high honour in the East African state. Idris is, you know, a United Nations goodwill ambassador. And they named the gorilla. Now, it could be Narami or uh -huh. Naramai. I'm sure the gorilla won't be upset that if I've got his name wrong either way. <laughs> but the mum had lost a couple of babies, but now that one's there. So, oh, just a lovely moment, isn't it? That is beautiful. If you do want to see them, do go to Rwanda. Ah, oh, that is just gorgeous. Now, look, you were talking about Cher. I know she was on uh, Good Morning Britain earlier, and she was talking about her new ice cream. 
New ice cream, look at this, look at this, look, it's a stage hand. Ha ha, how about that? <laughs> how about the Scoop Scoop song? There we are, this is it. It's been five years in the making. This is her mum's favourite, mum's cheesecake. Ooh. Good. Mmm, nice. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, good. Coffee and donut. Oh, nice. Lovely. Good. A truck going round LA at the moment. Excuse me for doing this. Oh, that's beautiful. If I could turn back time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations to Cher. Thank as you for you, sharing. As if you didn't love Cher enough, she's got her own ice cream. Thank you, Ross. Great to talk to you.